Welcome to Cam Look, your dose of the Cincinnati Art Museum. Every Tuesday and Thursday, a staff member or volunteer will be sharing an object from the collection and post questions after for discussion. Please check back in every week for a new work and a new conversation. My name is Emma and I'm the museum's tour coordinator and I will be talking about St. Peter Nolasco recovering the image of the Virgin El Poet by Francisco Zubarin. Artist Francisco Zubarin was born in 1598 in Spain and was well known for his religious themed works. He was known as the Spanish Caravaggio due to his tenebrism, which is the use of light and dark to dramatize the compositions of paintings. His paintings were well renowned and even gained him commissions from Philip IV, the King of Spain from 1621 to 1625. This painting was by famous artist Diego Velázquez, who was believed to be his contemporary in school at Pedro Díaz de Villanueva in Colombia. Zubarin created not only religious works, but still lifes and portraitures. The most expressive subjects were, also, were always his religious works. The dedication of detail in the clothes, expressions, and light tell the story of awe and wonder from religious miracles. By 1629, he was Seville's official city painter. As his life went on, he changed his style of painting with the times and adopted a less realistic painting style, which was honestly not met with universal approval. He moved to Madrid in 1658 with his family and passed away shortly after. His legacy has been solidified as a leader of the Baroque art in the 17th century. In the painting, we are viewing St. Peter Nolasco, the founder of the Catholic Order of Our Lady of Mercy. He is being presented the relief of the Virgin and Christ Child by patron King James I of Arag. The relief is said to have been carved by angels from the stone of the Virgin Mary's tomb. The relief had been buried under a bell at the castle of Poeg near Valencia to preserve it from desecration during the Muslim invasion. When the king took Valencia into his rule in 1238, St. Peter Nolasco received a sign of three groups of stars falling from the sky and disappearing into the ground, which he interpreted as the hidden burial site of the relief. This painting was a part of a series intended to celebrate the saint's canonization. The boy in the painting looking at the viewer is believed to be the artist's son, Juan de Zubar. Juan de Zubar was also an artist and his work is in the same gallery as his father's to the right of this painting in Gallery 206. Recently, Center College has been doing research on how people visually engage with works of art. Peter Hoffner and Drew Morris use specialized glasses and software that track a wearer's eye movements. One of the works that they chose was Zubarin's due to the dynamic compositional variety. For two minutes, the glasses track the movement of the wearer for trends. The heat map that you see shows where the 24 staff members, interns, and volunteers spent the most time looking. The green color shows where viewers spent most of their time while the orange and red spots show where people spent the most time. This is such a dynamic and powerful painting and I feel as though I am really there in this scene witnessing the unveiling of a lost treasure. This is one of my favorite paintings that we have in the collection. What do the facial expressions of the guard say about this momentous occasion? Also, when thinking about the study that Center College presented, where do you think your eyes go first and why? Please answer below in the comments. Thank you for listening and we will check back in with you soon.